clump those lips up. Or epidural, yeah. Real, it feels good. Puncturing your skin with needles? Doesn't that sound like so much fun? Well, all the celebrities are doing it. Gwyneth Paltrow, Angelina Jolie, Jennifer Aniston, Kim Kardashian, the list goes on and on. So, as yes, Jess, guess what I'm saying yes to today? Micro needling. What's up, Yes Tribe? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if this is your first time, well, thank you for saying yes and hanging out with me today. Now, a few weeks ago, I posted a YouTube video sharing with you how I got rid of my acne without going on Accutane. If you wanna see that video, I will put the link in the description box below. So now that I dealt with my acne, I now wanna focus on my melasma. Now, if you don't know what melasma is, it's basically a form of hyperpigmentation, which is dark spots. It's very common in women, and you can get it from UV exposure as well as hormonal influences. One of the best ways to actually reduce the appearance of dark spots at home is with microneedling, which is why I'm really excited to review this microneedling tool from Stacked Skincare with you on camera today. First things first, microneedling is a treatment that helps soften fine lines, give skin a plumper look, minimize dark spots, and soften acne scarring. All things I want to focus on. Microneedling is the insertion of very fine short needles into the skin for the purpose of rejuvenation, which generates collagen, new cell growth, and a denser epidermal layer, which is your top layer. Looks like so has this great lid for to keep it clean, away from all the dust and particles and stuff. And there are little tiny needles on this wheel. Ah, I'm nervous. All right, so we just sanitized it. You've seen the vampire facials. Draws blood, really scary. Microneedling, it's not supposed to hurt. It's not supposed to draw blood. So let's hope that's the case. And I'm just nervous. I want you guys to come in close and take a look at my skin before I start my microneedling. The areas where I have my dark spots, my melasma, is right around my eyes actually, and on my forehead. So I'm gonna just little... ah, I'm nervous, I really hope it doesn't hurt or it doesn't like make me draw blood, that would be really scary. Okay, so here's the steps. They do say that your face can get a little red, which is also why they suggest doing it at night. I've never done this before, so I'm definitely gonna be reading this little packet and I will tell you what it says. Okay, so the proper rolling technique, cleanse, apply serum, then gently roll over skin vertically, horizontally, and diagonally. You wanna divide your face into four quadrants. Can you see this? So like this, so you have your, your, your cheeks, your chin, your lips, your forehead, under your eyes, your nose, and your neck. And you wanna get all of those areas vertically, horizontally, and diagonally. Roll about two to three times each area. Helpful tips, really important. Use mild, even pressure over entire treatment area. Do not force into skin. Okay, well. Here we go. So I just washed my face. Now I'm using pigment correcting serum because of course I wanna brighten my face. So I'm gonna apply a layer of this, step number two. Okay. Also, because you are targeting the under eye area, I'm now going to do my eye complex. This is from Nurse Jamie, and it's a firming and brightening eye cream. So I'm gonna apply a little bit under my eyes. Get rid of those bags. And right around my eye, for some reason, is where I have the worst melasma. It almost looks like I'm like wearing like sunglasses. It's horrible. Okay. So step number two, now grab your tool and let's micro needle. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna start with my chin. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start doing the vertical. Ooh, 
doesn't hurt at all. It actually kind of feels good. It's weird that this is, so two to three times going vertical. Ooh, it actually feels really good. So maybe I'll do my whole face vertical, then I'll do the whole face horizontal, then I'll do the whole face diagonal. So other side of the cheek. Rolls really easy, doesn't hurt at all, no blood drawn, which is good. Feels good actually. Okay, I can get used to this. My face isn't that red yet. So they said two to three times. Ooh, it feels good. Okay, now the chin. Lips. Pump those lips up. Nose. <laughs> Got it tickles. <laughs> Who knew my nose would be ticklish? Forehead. Like I'm trying to see if you can actually see the little holes it's making. Hmm. I can't see anything. It actually like feels really good. It's like soothing. It's calming. It makes sense that you have to go vertically, horizontal, and diagonal, just to like really puncture your skin all over the place. Like don't leave one spot unpunctured. I'm like, the, needle, the needles are baby needles. It doesn't hurt at all. They always say the neck is the first place where you could get signs of aging. You know what my question is, is if you had a breakout, would you want to go over your breakout? In my mind, I would say no, because you don't want to spread your breakout. So if you have a pimple, I would probably avoid that area. But if you guys know the answer, please let me know in the comments below. I will also ask, oh, my neck's getting a little red. Okay, now let's do horizontal. Make sure you really get under the eyes too. That's like where I have my worst fine lines. And it doesn't hurt. Ooh, my skin is getting a little red now though. Mild pressure. You don't wanna push. That'll probably draw the blood. So you just wanna hold the tool very lightly and just go back and forth. Two to three times each area. Ooh, I can kind of see the little holes it's making now. My skin. It kind of reminds me of the jade roller, but I feel like this would work way better than the jade roller. I never got the jade roller. Not a big fan. Are you guys? Nose? <laughs> it's kind of weird doing the nose horizontal way. You know what else I like about this micro needling tool? You don't need to plug it in. You don't need to turn it on because there are some that turn on and that just scares me. Like nobody wants, if this thing turned on, I don't think I'd actually review it. This is, I'm in complete control. It's also easy to travel with because you don't need any electrical power. You could like literally do this on the airplane, whatever, in bed. So you don't need to plug it in. You don't need to turn it on. And I'm glad because that scares me. I did my whole face and neck 
vertically, horizontally, and diagonally. I went over each area two to three times. So we're now done with the micro needling tool. Come in close, take a look at my skin after. It didn't hurt, did not draw any blood. I'm a little red, but not bad. Like I could easily put makeup on and no one would know. So, so far so good. It actually kind of felt good. So now we want to reapply our serums. Because your skin has all these little tiny holes now, your skin is actually going to absorb the brightening serum faster. And it makes sense, right? Because you have all these little holes. I. Now I'm gonna apply my moisturizer. You can micro needle five to seven times a week. You only wanna use a head for a month. You can get two heads for 50 bucks. This whole thing is $125. So I'm gonna use this five times a week for five weeks and then I'll come back on camera and share with you my results to see how my skin looks. I actually reached out to the owner of Stack Skin Care because I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous to give it a try. And she totally eased my mind. She said, it's not gonna scar you. It's not gonna hurt your skin. It's only gonna make your skin glow and reduce your dark spots, which she's right. It didn't hurt at all. Um, but she did give me a really good tip. She said, Microneedling works best with serums that have active ingredients such as stem cells, growth factors, and hyaluronic acid. There are types of ingredients that will really maximize the effects of microneedling to stimulate collagen, speed up cell turnover, lift hyperpigmentation, smooth out fine lines, firm, plump, and hydrate. So you really wanna make sure you're using the right serums to really get the best results. Now, because we just finished microneedling, what do you wanna do? Clean it. So once again, take your rubbing alcohol, put it in a little cup, and rinse it off really important. Then wait till it's dry and always put the cap back on. We wanna keep that bad boy really clean. Also, one head per person. Don't be sharing your heads, okay? Second question is how deep are the needles? This is very important. So there's a lot of rumors out there that microneedling is actually bad for your skin. That's false. So these needles are only 0.2 millimeters long. That is so important. Anything longer than that can actually scar your skin instead of heal it. So you wanna make sure the needles are 0.2 millimeters long, which these are. Now, if you go to an actual dermatologist, the needles can go up to like 0.3 or 0.5, but you wanna make sure that you're doing that professionally. If you're doing it at home, 0.2 millimeters only. Next question is how many times a week can you micro needle? Well, you can do it five to seven times a week. So you can do it every single day. Just depends on your skin, but it's not gonna hurt you to do it every day. You probably only wanna do it once a day though. So there you go, my first time using micro needling. I think it went pretty well. Yeah, I'm excited to do this five times a week for the next five weeks. But thank you for saying yes and hanging out with me today. Good news, no blood drawn, my skin doesn't hurt. I feel amazing. Um, but if you guys have any other tips on how to reduce dark spots, please let me know in the comments below. If you've actually tried micro needling, I'd love to hear how your experience went. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, also, if you wanna see a full YouTube video review after I've done it for five weeks, let me know in the comments below. Love you guys. Mwah.